Hi, Jim Johnston here with JTS. Today I want to talk about the Radwin 5000 Jet. It's a new base station for point to multipoint systems. It's quite the radio. We just got it in. We're pretty excited about it. We're going to be putting it on our tower tomorrow and putting it through the test. Today I just kind of wanted to go over with you some of the highlights of the system. We'll dig into more details later. One of the things is the antenna and the radio are integrated. This is what this is the base station. There's no big sector antenna or something like that. However, this system gives you higher performance than our, what we've had in the past. Uniquely, this antenna is a beam forming antenna. So different elements of the antenna talk to the processing in the radio and form a beam that talks to the subscriber. This helps overcome noise and interference, gives a better uh, RSL uh, both to and from the subscriber. We'll dive into that. The radio has a tremendous amount of processing power. When you look at all the different functions that are going on in the radio with the uh, different uh, bandwidths for each subscriber, different uplink and downlink ratios, dealing with interference, keeping the qualm ratios up high or the modulation ratios high depending on the conditions and things like that, a lot of processing power going on. We'll, we'll talk about that also. It's a, with, with all that processing power, it's still just a 35 watt power consumption radio, which means we can power it with uh, data cable up the tower, uh, PoE, RJ45, copper data cable up the tower. Pretty unique. Also with the new radio, we got a new mount, and this mount, uh, if you flip this part around, you can mount it on the poles as small as three quarter or one inch in diameter. In this configuration, it'll go up to a three inch pole. If you have larger poles, four inch and up, or, or a pole like a street light pole, a traffic light, or something of that nature, a monopole, you can actually use the front part of the mount with steel bands and, and mount that way. So we've got a lot of flexibility in the mount, and as usual, only one wrench size. So when a guy heads up the tower, he's only got to deal with uh, with one size of uh, uh, one set of wrenches. Pretty nice for the installers. The uh, new subscriber units are what we call a small form factor subscriber. There's, it's this size of subscriber that are available integrated with an integrated antenna like you see here uh, in different types, uh, uh, different sizes of uh, gain, uh, 23 dBi and 17 dBi and 15 dBi for the uh, 5 gigahertz uh, band. And it's also available just with the unit itself but connectorized for external antennas if you want to put a dish or you want to put a specialty antenna uh, on the subscriber. And there's also a version where there's a small uh, embedded antenna in the unit that's 15 dBi gain or so, but it's also connectorized for an external antenna. So you could deploy that unit if you start getting interference or noise or stuff like that, you need to put a better quality antenna on it. You don't have to change anything except go out and put a, a higher gain or, or a, a a different kind of antenna on it, on that subscriber. Uh, the older 5,000 subscriber units, the larger form factor units, still fully compatible with the Radwin 5000 jet. Uh, these are available still with uh, connectorized for external antennas or with integrated antennas and, and things of that nature. So the, the old 5000 still works. We're going to be putting this 5000 jet on our tower uh, it, here at, uh, at our office here in Dallas, and it'll be on the tower for the next few months uh, while we perform different tests for uh, distances, uh, long distances shots, short distances shots, uh, different uh, conditions like line of sight, near line of sight, non line of sight. So we'll be uh, able to compare how well this uh, 5000 jet works in comparison, in comparison to some of the other radios that we've uh, put on the tower and some other radios we'll have on the tower this summer. So you're more than welcome to come see it work. Uh, if you have an application and you want to see if this particular system will work well, don't hesitate to uh, call us or uh, make a, a time to come see the radio, see it work. We'll be happy to work with you on your design requirements and, and application requirements. So don't hesitate to call. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for part one of our video series on the Radwin 5000 jet. Be sure to check in for updates on our blog at jts.net or our YouTube channel. You can also sign up for our newsletter to stay informed of future announcements from JTS. If you'd like more information or a quote, please contact us. Don't forget to ask about our pre-engineered solutions 
brought to you exclusively by JTS and Hutton.